today I'm showing a single shot bolt action 22 caliber air rifle that I made myself. Let's quickly take a look at the major parts of this new homemade 22 caliber air rifle. For the barrel, I purchased off the internet a 24 inch Crossman rifled 22 caliber air rifle barrel. A good quality barrel, which is what I wanted for accuracy. This air rifle has an air reservoir here, 18 inches long, inch and an eighth inside diameter, made from a piece of uh, steel tubing. The main valve on this air rifle is a QEV that uh, a plumber gave me. The QEV is in turn piloted by this uh, 24 volt solenoid valve. The solenoid valve is controlled by an electronic pulsing circuit mounted inside the hand grip that's based on a 555 timer IC connected to a MOSFET that handles uh, the switching of the solenoid coil. Power for the electronics is provided by two model airplane LiPo batteries 12 volt LiPo is set up in series with a tap for 12 volts because the 555 timer circuit runs on 12 volts but the solenoid needs the full 24 to be switched by the MOSFET. There's also a capacitor here on the 24 volts such that the capacitor can discharge extra current to force the solenoid open quickly. Here's a different angle and a closer look at the valving setup on this homemade air rifle. The uh, trigger is a small electronic push button here. There is an on-off switch for the uh, power right there. can probably hear the solenoid clicking as I press the trigger here. Switch it to back off. Air is brought in at 125 PSI from my uh, shop compressor airline, which can be left hooked up to the rifle while it's being used. The uh, bolt action is up here, and the pellet is placed in there, and then the bolt closed for firing. Here I've now hooked up a sharp air line to the uh, air chuck on the air rifle. Opening this ball valve allows the steel air chamber to fill. Valve is then closed and pressing the trigger button fires it. Much like that. This air rifle has no iron sights on it. It's equipped with a Tasco 3 to 9 power by 40 scope. It's sighted in for my 10 meter indoor range. Here's an example 10 meter 5 shot target. 5 shots taken with 17.2 grain pointed lead pellets. Basically, the five shots took the sender out of the target. This air rifle is very accurate, probably because I used the 24-inch rifled Crossman barrel rather than a smoothbore tube or any lesser type of a barrel. 
testing with my crony chronograph shows that this homemade air rifle will shoot the 17.2 grain pointed lead pellets at around 420 feet per second. The lighter 14.2 grain round nose pellets will fire at about 460 feet per second. This is entirely adequate for shooting on a 10 meter indoor range, which is where I shoot. Since I am always shooting in my 10 meter indoor range here, it doesn't matter that the airline needs to be left hooked up to the rifle uh, for convenience of shooting, because the air tank uh, only holds one shot's worth of air at 125 psi. If I was to change to a different QEV than the one I used, obviously this rifle could be made to shoot at higher velocities if a uh, QEV was put onto it that could take higher pressure. This particular QEV doesn't like to be pushed beyond 150 psi. If you do, it simply won't open reliably or will not open at all. But uh, one of those black QEVs from eBay, you could probably go five or six hundred pounds of air in the air tank from a fridge compressor and uh, get much higher velocities out of uh, this design, just with a different QEV. But this QEV was free, I already had it, and uh, I wanted an air rifle that could shoot reliably and very accurately just off the uh, machine shop uh, 125 PSI air compressor. So that's what I built, and I'm extremely happy overall with the result. It's accurate and it's reliable. Yeah, I can use that. 